Hello, welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel. My name is Hannah and today I'm gonna do a drugstore makeup haul first impressions tutorial video and this is the look that I am creating in this tutorial so if you guys want to see how I created this look, what my first impressions are on all of this because pretty much every single product that I use is a new drugstore product. If you guys want to see what products I got at the drugstore then and please keep watching. Also, before we get into this tutorial, don't forget to subscribe. You might as well do it right now. Just get it over with so that you don't miss out on my future videos. Would love to have you be a part of my little YouTube fam that we're building. You guys, we're building. This is the beginning stages, okay? Um, also, um, if you feel like it, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. I always appreciate that. And let's get started with this tutorial haul. First impressions video. <laughs> I haven't filmed in like a week or two, and every time I take even though it's only like 14 days it's like not that long um every time I take a little break I always feel rusty coming back so just bear with me um new backdrop <sighs> love this color way more than the gray the gray was just a little drab so yeah today I'm gonna be doing a <sighs> drugstore makeup tutorial. I went to Target the other day and I spent $141, no, 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 I'm sorry, 152 dollars on makeup. So I'm going to show you guys what I got. I bought like a full face of makeup at Target. I'm going to show you guys what I got and um, I'm going to create a look with it. So let's get started okay guys I went to Target and I bought a full face of makeup and my total was hundred and fifty two dollars so I'm gonna do a drugstore makeup tutorial with all this new makeup that I got and it's it's stuff that I've never tried before so I guess this is like a first impressions drugstore haul drugstore makeup haul tutorial first impressions you know let's get started okay so I'm gonna start by priming my eye and I'm gonna be using this elf 16 hour camel ca wow camo concealer <laughs> this is in the shade medium beige and I've heard so many good things about this by the way I always use well usually use oftentimes use concealer as eyeshadow primer I just love the way my eyeshadow blends over top a good concealer I actually prefer concealer to like actual eyeshadow primers I don't know I just feel like it makes a better base and I'm using my morphe e8 brush to just blend this concealer out all over my eyelid and I'm blending it right up to my brow not into my brow but just right beneath right below my brow beneath is that a word okay for eyeshadow I'm gonna be using this palette this is the physicians formula butter eyeshadow palette or tropical days butter eyeshadow palette um it smells like vacation it smells like coconut it smells so good you guys I've never used anything from physicians formula before I feel like they're kind of expensive to be completely honest and um this palette was Oh, nine, nine dollars. That's not that bad. Nine dollars, is that it? Yeah, I guess this was nine dollars. Nine dollars and ninety-nine cents. And, um, I'm gonna be using this shade right here. This is called, this one, this, this one. <laughs> this one is called Sand Dunes. Yeah, so I've never used anything from Physicians Formula before, except now this palette, because obviously I've already done this eye, but I really, really like this formula, like, a lot. I was not too sure how I would like this eyeshadow, because sometimes I could be a little afraid of drugstore eyeshadows, but it's honestly really good and it blends so nicely. The pigment, like, look at that. That's just dipping into the pan once. The pigment's great. It's not chalky. There's not a lot of fallout. Oh my god, I really, really, really like this eyeshadow. And I'm just taking it into the outer corner of my eye and like up into my crease. I'm just gonna do like a basic kind of like smoky eye. And this brush, I forget who makes this brush. Honestly, there's like the little writing came off of it, but I'm just using like a big fluffy eyeshadow brush and just blending this into my crease and the outer corner of my eyelid, just like this. Okay, so once I get this all blended out how I want it, I'm going to go back into the palette and I'm going to dip into these, this darker brown shade right here. This is called Coco Loco. And I'm taking this on my Aesthetica, just like this big angled brush. And I'm going to do a technique that I I've done since high school. I'm going to line
line. I need a mirror that I can use closer up. Okay, I'm going to line my lash line by just, I'm not like dragging this. I'm just placing the shadow, like tapping it on, like pressing this darker brown shadow along my lash line and kind of just flicking the brush upwards to kind of blend it. It's basically going to be like a smoky liner. Not a winged liner, just along my lash line at the top. And I like to drag the brush upwards to just kind of blend that shadow like this. I'm just flicking the brush up. I haven't put any more shadow on my brush. I'm just using whatever is left. Okay, so I'm going to dip back into the palette and I'm going to hit this light cream shade right here. This is called Barefoot in Brazil. I'm taking a tiny bit of this on my Morphe E30 brush and I'm just going to place this right here on like the inner corner of my lid and kind of just bring it right to the middle of my eyelid and then lightly buff it into the other color, the darker color right here in my crease, just to kind of soften everything up and brighten up that inner portion of my eye. Okay, so I love this blend and just how everything, these eyeshadows, oh my god, these eyeshadows just blended out so nicely. I'm obsessed with how they smell. I love powders that smell. Too Faced has like powders that smell good too. Um, This one smells like coconut, but oh my god, I love this eyeshadow palette so much like the formula everything I'm really really picky about my eyeshadows and this physicians formula eyeshadow palette is probably my new favorite thing so I'm really impressed that's my first impression is very impressed <laughs> okay let's move on to brows actually no let's do eyelashes okay before I do anything to my eyelashes or put anything on them I'm gonna curl them this is just an elf eyelash curler and I like to curl them before mascara because they look better when they're curled. I hate when there's like old eyeshadow on my eyelash curler and then it gets on my new eyeshadow look. There's like a little bit of gold glitter. Oh well. Okay for mascara I'm going to be using this Maybelline Rocket Volume Express Mascara. I've actually used this one before. It's one of my favorite mascaras in the whole world and I should have, I just realized that I should have got one that I've never tried before but oh well. I'm just going to do a thin coat of mascara so that that my false lashes have something to adhere to. I always feel like false lashes stick on way better when you do a coat of mascara first. Oh my god, I love this mascara so much. Okay lashes. Okay, so for lashes, I'm gonna use these ones. These are the Iller, 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 Iller <laughs> London Luxe Silk Lashes. I've never tried these before, but they look really pretty, so let's see. Let's see how they look. Okay, I also wanted to mention that I bought a drugstore lash glue, and this is the Duo 2-in-1 Brush On Strip Lash Adhesive. I used to use Duo Lash Glue in high school, but I used, I don't even know if I have it anymore. Oh yeah, I do. So I used to use um, the one in the tube in high school. This is not the same one that I've had since high school. I've since bought this one. But I love, this is like one of my favorite lash glues ever. So I figured I would buy a different kind from them. And I really like this one because it has the dark lash glue on one end and then the translucent um, clear white lash glue on the other. So, so far, so good. Okay, so I got the lashes on. I really, really like them. Um, I don't know if this is the name but I think this might be the name Marquise I think that's how you say it anyways I really like these lashes I like them a lot I did trim them a little bit maybe I might have trimmed them a little bit too short probably could have kept them a little bit longer but either way I really like them they look so cool I love the style and I love how thick and dark they are I also really liked the way the band was shaped even though the band was quite thick it was shaped in a way where I didn't feel like I needed to like bend it much because I have other lashes that I feel like I have to like bend and like move the band around so that it sits more comfortably on my eyelashes but I feel like these I didn't have to do much to except for trim them so I really like that and these lashes were um ten dollars and like all lashes they're reusable and they seem pretty heavy duty so for me I like a more heavy duty lash <laughs> all right let's move on 
to the face. I'll go back to the eyes and do the lower lash line a little bit later like I usually do. I like to do my foundation first and then come back in to the lower lash line. I'm just going to wipe away any fallout that I might have. There is a little bit. Also, if you see this like weird shiny thing or it looks like kind of weird right here, it's because I have some of that um, sandy derm or whatever it's called. It's just like a little clear band-aid, but um, I got a new tattoo. Isn't that cute? My little spider web. I wanted it right there so that when my hands close you can't see it and then just like bam so it's healing okay you guys I'm so excited for this I've been wanting to try this product for a long time <sighs> For primer, I'm going to be using this one from e.l.f. This is the e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer. Oh my god. I've been dying to try this. It was like $8 and my Target finally has it. I know you can buy it online, but I don't really like to buy makeup online. I prefer to buy it in the store. And yeah, I finally have one of my own. Never before been used. She's new. Super excited about this. Okay, so I'm going to be using this for primer today and I'm just going to like scoop a little bit out on my finger I guess. I don't really know how to use this. It's a little bit thick. Hopefully this is a good amount. I'm just going to... I think I'm going to focus this mainly in my t-zone area because I have like the biggest pores here. And then using my fingers I'm just going to work this all around my face. It definitely feels a little thick. Almost kind of greasy to be honest so I'm curious how this is going to look underneath foundation. But I've heard good things about it but it definitely feels greasy for sure. Um, The consistency kind of reminds me of like Benefit Professional Primer, but that even feels a little bit more like dry, if that makes sense. This one feels greasy, so super curious how this is going to wear underneath my foundation. But I'm just going to work it all over my face even my forehead and then I'm gonna kind of tap it in or push it in here to like where all I, all my big pores are. Maybe it'll like camouflage those big old pores. Ooh, my skin already looks nice and smooth though. Also, it doesn't really smell like anything if you're wondering. Okay, so for foundation I'm gonna be using this one or trying this one. This is the Maybelline Dream Urban Cover Full Coverage Protective Makeup Sunscreen and it has SPF 50 in it and I chose the shade warm nude which looks a little tan obviously uh, when I bought all this I had a fake tan on I still kind of have a little bit of that fake tan salon so um, it might be a little dark for me but that's okay we'll make it work this was suggested to me and I've never tried it before so I'm kind of excited and nervous <laughs> I always get um, I'm so picky with my foundation so I always get like really nervous trying new ones I'm just gonna squirt this directly onto my face hopefully that's not too much we'll see and then I bought this Sponge. Also, this is the Sonia Kashuk. 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 I don't know how to pronounce this. I'm so sorry. But um, it's so big. Look how big it is. It's damp, by the way. But I figured I would try her sponge. And it's a drugstore sponge, obviously. It's so pretty. I like don't even want to get it wet. But here goes nothing. Lately, I've been blending my foundations with um, a brush. I haven't used a sponge in so long, so it feels weird. Also, this color is actually um, like a good color. Definitely smells like sunscreen this foundation but that's good there's a lot of sunscreen it's SPF 50 is that right yeah SPF 50 so that's like really good it's like the perfect foundation for when you're gonna be outside I'm just gonna put a little bit more let's see how buildable this is okay so this sponge is very big it's almost like a little too big for me I prefer the size of like a beauty blender better I don't know I just I don't feel like I have as much control over this one because it's so large and then it's like kind of a little bit too big for underneath my eyes but I like the material because there's some sponges that I've used that like are a little more hard feeling like the, the sponge is like a harder material than others. This one's really soft and it did make my skin look really nice. Like the blend looks really nice. So it's all right. I just, my only complaint is like the size. To me, it's a little too large. But other than that, it's okay. And this foundation, um, it says it's full coverage. I feel like it's pretty full coverage. I would say maybe a little bit more on like the medium coverage side because I've worn foundations that are a little bit more full coverage, but it looks pretty full coverage. Looks like it might stay a little bit on the dewy side. Um, it doesn't 
doesn't say it. it's not like a mat or anything so curious to see how this one wears throughout the day but so far so good the color is good too I think I picked a decent color so that's a plus yay all right let's go on with concealer now so for concealer I'm gonna be using the elf 16 hour camo concealer in the shade medium beige and I am going to conceal underneath my eyes looks a little on the peachy side but I like that for underneath my eyes because it's gonna combat dark circles and I'm gonna use the same sponge to blend this out I've heard really really good things about this concealer so I'm really excited to use it this concealer definitely feels super full coverage she's thick it reminds me of um, shape tape from Tarte oh that's nice I really like that a lot actually so I didn't like the Tarte shape tape concealer that much I did at first because it was like super full coverage but I felt like it dried my under eye or like I it, I felt like it dried out my under eye area a little bit too much and then made me look like old and wrinkly so hopefully this one is a little bit more creamy and not so drying but I guess only time will tell right I feel like I could have gone with a little bit of a lighter shade in that concealer but besides the color I really 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 like the coverage and this elf concealer was six bucks I think yeah it was six bucks definitely could have gone with a lighter shade though that's for sure I think I might return it and get a lighter color just to brighten up underneath my eyes okay for bronzer I'm gonna be trying this one this is the physicians formula butter bronzer in the shade deep bronzer I've heard so many good things about this bronzer and it's freaking expensive but I had to try it so this bronzer is $14.99 you guys that is pretty expensive Ooh, but it smells like coconut like the palette and yeah I've just heard really good things about this so I'm pretty excited to try it it also has a little what is this it's like a sponge that's kind of weird it comes with this like little weird shaped sponge. I don't know how I would ever use this. It doesn't seem like something I'd want to use, but I'll just set it aside just in case. But let's see. I'm just going to use my Hoola bronzer brush for this. Okay, here goes nothing, you guys. I got the darker shade because I prefer a darker bronzer. I kind of like dramatic bronze, dramatic contour, and I know that I can build it. I'm pretty good with my contour, so I know I can work with a darker one. It's pretty warm, in my opinion, but really pretty. And it's blending nicely and it's super pigmented and it's blending pretty well over top that foundation so that's good and I'm just contouring the normal areas I'm gonna warm up the perimeter of my face that's why I'm applying it up here along my forehead just to give my face a little bit of warmth and color and then of course contouring my cheekbones right here pretty nice blends nicely looks nice I've heard really good things about this I don't know if it's worth $14 because I'm not like wow this is great but it's pretty good but I don't know if I would buy it again to be honest I'm glad I got to try it though I like that it smells like coconut but if I was gonna spend a bunch of money on contour I'd probably spend it on like hula bronzer or um, Too Faced the chocolate Soule bronzer instead and chocolate Soule smells like chocolate so I don't know this bronzer just doesn't really like wow me it's not bad I'm just not, like I don't know if I would choose this one again at the drugstore especially for 14 bucks I feel like the elf one works just as good but the physician formula eyeshadow palette was honestly really really good so I would buy that one again okay so I'm gonna set that concealer and to set the under eye concealer I'm gonna use this one this is my favorite setting powder I did not buy a different setting powder um, because I actually forgot to get a setting powder but this one is a drugstore setting powder and I've used this in like every single makeup video ever so <laughs> if you don't already know this is the Maybelline fit me loose finishing powder in the shade fair light this this one is just so good. It's so good. I'm just going to take a little bit of this on my Real Techniques setting brush, which is also a drugstore brush, you guys. And I'm just going to lightly set my under eye area and just this whole like under eye area. And look how good my skin looks after I do that. It just looks like like Photoshop. You know what I mean? It looks so soft, so smooth. This is the other side. I haven't set this side yet. I feel like it looks a little more squirrely. But this side, it looks like, like Facetune. <laughs> I swear it's this powder you guys because as soon as I put this on 
my skin just looks freaking freaking flawless I used to bake with this powder I do think it's a good powder for baking but I just haven't been into baking lately so I'm just setting with a really really light layer of this powder and I like to set my entire nose because I feel like foundation slides around my nose a lot so setting my entire nose with this powder helps also when I set my face with this powder you guys my makeup lasts all day and it looks good all day and then sometimes I'll just take it up here just like right above my brows into the center of my forehead down the bridge of my nose and then a little bit on my chin too and those are the areas that I like to set all right for highlight I'm gonna be trying this one this is the L'Oreal true match Lumi Lumi shimmerista and it's like a little powder so I'm going to just oh that's a lot <laughs> Taps them out. It's like on the darker side. It's like a dark rose gold, you guys. Kind of nervous. So on my Anastasia A23 highlighting brush, I'm just gonna take a little bit of this powder. Oh my god, it's like kind of really dark. I'm kind of nervous. It might be too dark for me. I'm gonna tap this brush out a lot. And I'm going to highlight the tops of my cheekbones. Okay, all right, not too dark. It actually looks nice. It's definitely like a pink. Okay, that's pretty. It looks nice. Not as scary as I thought. Definitely more like a rose gold toned highlighter. I actually really like it. Looks nice. I thought it was gonna be a dark. Let's add a little more and see what it looks like. <laughs> Why not? She's pretty. So I just like to highlight the tops of my cheekbones and then I like to highlight up here on my forehead. Just the highest points of my face. I also like to highlight my chin a little bit. You definitely see the color more when I use it down here. That's okay because I apply blush to this area anyway. It's kind of like a blush colored highlight which I don't know if I really like that but we're just gonna run with it today. They had a different color too but I think it was even darker. It's not bad but I'm just not that crazy. I like a more champagne colored highlight. You feel me? I don't really like like a rose gold pinky toned highlighter. It's just a little too much for me. It almost looks like a blush like a shimmery blush it doesn't look bad I'm just not that crazy about it but just using it to highlight the highest points of my face you guys um I don't think I'm gonna take it down the bridge of my nose usually I'll highlight the bridge of my nose but I'm not going to today because of the color maybe I'll just take a little bit and put it right here oh you know what fuck it let's just do it anyways maybe it'll just give me like a little sun kiss type of look you feel me mm, it's not too bad cute okay and this highlighter cost Let's see. Highlighter. Um, the sponge was $5, by the way. Highlighter. I don't know. It doesn't say. What is this? Oh, it's $11.99. Jeez Louise. $11.99 for this highlighter. And then for blush, I'm going to be using this one from number seven. This is in the shade Peach Velvet. This is just a powder blush. It is not shimmery. Thank God. And using my Real Techniques blush brush, I'm going to take a little bit of this. Oh, she's pigmented. And just flick it on the apples of my cheek and then kind of like up and out towards my bronzer. It's very, very pigmented. I like to kind of put a little bit of blush here underneath my nose. Give me like a cute little like clown looking nose, you know? And then sometimes I'll put some up here on my forehead just to give my face some life, some color. Cute. Okay, let's um finish the eyes. So I'm gonna dip back into that darker brown shade called Coco Loco. This time I'm using a large eyeshadow brush from Too Faced. It's called an all-over eyeshadow brush and it's kind of just like a flat but large-ish eyeshadow brush And I'm gonna take that dark brown color that I used to line my lash line up here And I'm gonna line my lower lash line with this dark brown shade And I'm gonna try and keep it as tight to my lower lashes as possible And also connect it right up here to the shadow on top So this is a smoky eye, but I want this dark brown shade to be tight to my lower lashes All Alright, and just for fun, I'm going to hit this blue eyeshadow right here called Rolling Tides. It's like a shimmery kind of aqua blue. Aqua blue, royal blue, whatever. But I'm going to smoke out the brown with a little bit of this blue because why not? And I'm using a, what brush is this? A Sigma E25 blending brush. I'm going to focus this mainly on the outer, towards the outer corner of my eye and just bring it in a little bit. Also, side note, honestly, 
this like up close uh, my skin looks a little cakey so I would definitely say that this is like a full coverage it feels like a full coverage foundation it to me it looks like a full coverage foundation because I always feel like full coverage looks a little cakey maybe it's just my skin type I don't know but it's just a little bit too much for me it feels heavy too I don't like when I feel like I have a lot of face makeup on so if you're into that then maybe you would like this foundation but honestly like I'm it just feels a little too heavy for me personally and also like my under eyes look cakey I'm not sure if I'm that into that um, concealer that much it went on really nicely but now that it's like had a chance to be on my skin for a minute it feels pretty heavy and it's it's looking it's creasing a little bit even after setting it and it's looking heavy but from far away it looks all right okay and after I lay down that blue I'm gonna go back in with a little bit of that dark brown and just deepen wow that's not a mirror deepen the lower lashes a little bit more okay after I finished the lower lash line she's looking smoky I like that it's not like a lot of color it's just a subtle pop of blue you feel me I'm gonna go in with this mascara the Maybelline rocket volume mascara I'm gonna give those false lashes a little coat I like to do this to blend my natural lashes with the fake ones I don't feel like these lashes really need a coat of mascara but I'm doing it anyways and then I'm also gonna put some mascara on my lower lashes as well I'm almost done I'm actually stoked on this look especially these eyeshadows I love love so far my favorite thing is absolutely the eyeshadow palette for sure but let's do brows now um I'm gonna use this brow gel for from CoverGirl. It's called the CoverGirl Easy Breezy Brow and it's clear. Just a nice clear little brow gel. So before I do my brows, I usually like to brush through them with either soap or brow gel before I apply any other product. So I'm just using this one from CoverGirl. Never tried this one before. I like the size of the little brush. She's small. like that. And I'm just brushing my brow hairs up and away, you guys. I haven't had breakfast yet and it's like 12 and I'm kind of losing it. Okay. I kind of have a headache too. All right, so for brows, I'm gonna try this Maybelline Tattoo Studio Brow Tint Pen. What shade is this? This is deep brown. And let's focus on this. So this little pen, you see that? It has like, it's supposed to give you that like microbladed look, you know, that like hair-like stroke look. My friend used this and said she loved it, so I wanted to try it out for myself. Super curious about this one. Super curious. I'm assuming you just kind of flick it through your brow. All right, kind of weird, kind of cool. I don't know if I'm doing it right, but it's not really giving like precise hair stroke lines, but it's all right. It's not as good as my Urban Decay brow blade, that's for sure. It's all right. It's okay. I feel like it's kind of gimmicky. Yeah, definitely a little gimmicky. Mm, it's okay. It is what it is. I'm not that impressed, to be honest. How much was this? This was... Um, I don't know. $7.99? I think it was $7.99. I'm having trouble telling you guys what, how much these things are because some of them don't have like the exact name. I think this is the Butte Tool, but I'm not sure. I don't know. I think it's $7.99, but I'm not 100% sure because my receipt doesn't have the exact name on it. So somewhere around there. But yeah, it's all right, you guys. I've, it's actually, I would never buy this again. I'm not impressed. I feel like it's actually like harder to work with. It's not making anything easier, that's for sure. It's like awkward and now I feel like it's like dried out. I give this a 1 out of 10. <laughs> it's like eh, no not for me but we're gonna use it anyways we're gonna make it work today. But yeah definitely feel like it's gimmicky you guys would not recommend this product. It's a no for me. It's not even working now. Hmm no. This is a no for me. I'm gonna be returning this. Like it's not even worth keeping. I actually can't even use it now because it's like decided it doesn't want to work so I'm just gonna go in with um a different drugstore brow product. Let's see what I have. Okay, I'm just gonna go in with this CoverGirl brow pencil. I'm gonna do a little thing and then I'll be back. I'm kind of upset about that Maybelline tattoo brow thing. All right, I fixed my brows with the good old trusty brow pencil from CoverGirl. This one is in the shade Soft Brown. It's just this like typical double-sided brow pencil, um, little twist-up pencil, and then a spoolie, you know, just good old brow. Good old brow pencil. All right, to save the day. We're almost done you guys. So before lip, I'm going to set my makeup and I'm going to set my makeup using the Pixi Makeup Fixing Mist with rose water and green tea. Oh my god, nothing's coming out. Wow. I think this pump is broken because nothing is just like leaking out of the top. Like there's no spray. So that's sad. Gonna switch to some CoverGirl. <laughs> Seems like CoverGirl is saving the day today. So I'm going to switch to this CoverGirl Outlast Active Cooling Setting Mist All Day Wear. Obviously, 
I already had this product, but I had to use what I already had. I'm trying to keep everything drugstore for you guys, but um, I can't even use that pixie one because the sprayer, the pump thing's not working. So we're going to use this one instead, but it's still drugstore. much better and it smells like cucumbers it smells so good okay we're almost done Woohoo! okay for lips I'm gonna be using two new products so the first one I'm gonna start with is the NYX professional makeup suede matte lip liner in the shade sandstorm looks like it's gonna be like a mauvey brown hopefully that's true um I usually use NYX lip liner but I just use the lip pencil it's not the suede matte lip liner but I'm sure they're very similar Similar. But um, I also don't use this color. I usually use the natural color, which is like the best lip liner in the whole world. It's like the only one I ever use, but today I'm going to try this one just for fun. This lip liner was also um, $3.99. So let's see. I'm going to overline my lips. So far, I really like the color. Um, super similar to the natural color. Maybe a tad bit darker. Um, this actually seems like a color that I might love and that maybe, oh my god, would I cheat on my natural? I don't know. Is this like my new favorite color? It could be. Honestly, NYX has the best lip liners and they're only $3.99. Okay, kind of really freaking love this lip liner. The color, the formula, the everything. Um, really, really, really like it. It's super similar to the one that I use every day, but it's a tad bit darker. Okay, so let's apply this lip gloss. I don't usually like lip glosses, but this one looked really pretty. This is from Rimmel London. It's in the shade Blushy and it just says stay glossy up to six hour shine lip gloss it's just a lip gloss smells okay I don't like when lip products smell floral I feel like this one smells a little floral I prefer when they smell like like sweets you know like something edible but um it's not a big deal Ooh, pretty okay that's gorgeous she's thick not too sticky though super pretty okay how much was this lip I think it's the one that says lip makeup it has to be um this lip gloss was $3.99 really pretty I really like that Okay, so overall, I really, really, really love the eyeshadow palette, the eyelashes, the lip liner, and the lip gloss. Um, not that stoked on the foundation. Maybe it would be okay if I didn't have that concealer here. Maybe it's the concealer that I don't like. I don't know. The poreless putty primer was okay, but I'm not like, mm, like, I don't know. I don't know, you guys. It didn't live up to my expectations, to be completely honest. My favorite things of this whole makeup tutorial were only the eyeshadow, the eyeshadow, lashes the lip liner and the lip gloss that's it um the brow was the worst the worst product like the other things I was able to make work but that brow thing I couldn't even make it work so don't really recommend that but either way it was fun I like the look definitely feels cakey though feels heavy my face in general but um I guess I'll wait and see how it wears throughout the day I already don't like how it looks but oh well I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial regardless um if you have any questions about any of the products that I use if I haven't already answered your questions um, feel free to ask me any questions in the comment section or just come say what's up to me thank you so much for watching this uh, if you liked it go ahead and give this video a thumbs up so I know you liked it and don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on future videos also give me your suggestions let me know what you guys want me to film what you guys want to see from me um, I'm always open to suggestions I love suggestions I need suggestions so you guys let me know Okay, uh, I will see you guys next time. Bye!